In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to find equivalent fractions using a rectangular area model. If you're given the fraction 1 fourth, we can represent that drawing a rectangular area model. I'm gonna draw this rectangle as best I can. And based on our fraction, our denominator is four, so that tells us our total number of parts. I'm gonna partition the rectangle into four equal parts. And then our numerator, one on the top, tells us how many of those parts are shaded in. So we're just gonna shade in one of those four equal parts. So now we're representing one fourth. To make an equivalent, we're gonna have that represented the same, it's just gonna have a different name. So if we partition that rectangle in half, going horizontally, now we have eight total parts. Two, four, six, eight. So our new denominator is eight. And we have one, two parts shaded in. So the area is still represented the same, it's just now known as 2 eighths instead of 1 fourth. They are equivalent, they're representing the same amount or number. If we went another step forward and we partitioned each of those halves horizontally or partitioned it into fourths horizontally, now we have a new denominator, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 total parts, and one, two, three, four of those parts shaded in. Let's look at another example. What if we have three fifths? So let's draw our rectangle. Partition it into five equal parts. Shade into three parts. So now we have three fifths represented. Now I'm going to partition the rectangle into, let's do three rows. I partitioned it twice and now we have three equal rows going across. So now what are my total amount of parts? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine parts shaded in. So an equivalent fraction to three fifths is nine fifteenths. If we wanted to partition each of those thirds in half, how many total parts would we have now? So I have one, two, three, four, five in a row, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And how many are shaded in? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So here we have an equivalent fraction to 3 fifths, which is 9 fifteenths, or 18 thirties. All three of these fractions are equivalent because they represent the same amount. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to show you liked it because it helps out my channel a lot. Find out how to compare fractions with the same denominator or a different denominator by watching these next two videos.